These small slides contain crucial information. They're fine cross-sections of skin from patients with the earliest stages of melanoma, a cancer which can be life-threatening if it spreads. Scientists at Newcastle University have developed a test which they say can better identify whether a melanoma is likely to progress or return after it's removed. It works like this. In normal skin, proteins are present in the epidermis or outermost layer. The Newcastle researchers have discovered that in some patients with melanoma, the proteins remain. This, they say, is an indication that the tumour is at low risk of spreading. But where the proteins have been lost, patients are at high risk of the tumour moving elsewhere in the body. On the edge here, we can see... Dr Rob Ellis explained the findings to me using a scan of a patient's tumour. The melanoma is this large area here, and at the very top, we have the top surface of the skin called the epidermis. And you can see quite nicely that our marker has maintained a very nice dark brown line across the top of the tumour. And this would indicate to us that this is a low-risk melanoma. So why is this information so vital? If somebody's low-risk, maybe we don't need to see them as often as we do currently in clinic. Equally, if somebody's higher risk, we can perhaps offer different tests to investigate them further and follow them up more closely in future. Hi, Rob. Hello. Good to see you again. And you. Things have really moved on. Yes. It's three years since Pam was diagnosed with a melanoma. The tumour was removed. During her treatment, Pam agreed to take part in the early stages of the Newcastle University research. What did having this test mean for you at such a difficult time? It was really reassuring because up until that point, my mind had been in an absolute whirl. Once I was told I was low risk, I was able to put that in the back of my mind and refocus really, and so could my family. The thing about it is that it doesn't mean that you won't have follow-ups, because you will, but you're not constantly having to think about medical appointments and you can just get on with life. The NHS says most melanomas are thought to be caused by ultraviolet light from the sun, though some may be a result of sunbed use. So far, the Newcastle scientists say their test for patients in the early stages of the condition has proved extremely reliable, though they must continue to examine many more samples before it could be approved for general use. The problem has, has been in the past that melanoma patients have just had to kind of watch and wait and, and, and there's been no real clue as to when or how or if it might come back. So this is a, a real critical breakthrough, breakthrough for us. Giving patients the reassurance that their melanoma is unlikely to spread is, of course, a key aim of the research team. But the scientists believe their test will bring other benefits too. It will aid and hopefully support the way clinicians um, care for patients. They will perhaps be able to um, give more informed uh, um, information on the patient's diagnosis and um, their follow-up, um, which of course would have potential implications in saving the NHS lots of money if, if um, patient follow-up time could be reduced. A study that began in the northeast has now spread around the world, with melanoma samples from Spain, Australia and the United States now contributing to the research. The hope here is that a test developed in the region will be widely available within the next two years.